All right, well, this video is going to be a little different. Got something to do for the boss lady, so I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I don't know how I get myself into these things, but uh, I had some pallets from work. My wife wants a planting desk, and it's on our list of things to do for 2024. Figured I might get a jump on it. These are some pretty good looking newer wood pallets. There's an older one we can use for other stuff. This one's got a nice piece of plywood on it for the deck. So, eh, no time like the present. It's got some solid 2x4s I can use for legs. I think this would be enough wood. Not, I'm not trying to be that uh, whole build everything out or use pallet stuff, but usually I just throw these away or burn them. And we thought it'd be a neat project. So, yeah. so be so be starting right now. Uh, pulling these guys off carefully and then taking the nails out. They are those twisted glued nails, so you gotta be real careful. It just splits the wood, so I got a little bit of work to do. Alright, got all those pallets. This is part of one of the pallets. Got all those pallets torn apart. The next step is going to be, I used a sawzall to cut the nails because these things are notorious for cracking and stuff when you try to pull those nails out, but they stick really good. The next step, on the ones that I've got separated with nails in it, the little pieces, I'm going to tap those out with a punch. And then we'll be ready to start building. Alright, got all the legs together and the wheels on the bottom. I just put this on the top. It's just a for looks, basically. I mean, it's a work surface, but the structure is actually from the plywood. And then faced it up with the one by sixes. I'm going to put that guy down on the bottom to hold the legs nice and stable and square. It rolls pretty good. It's got some su substance to it, some good weight. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did here, down there, and then I'm going to build the backing. A little shelf, that, a little thing comes up. And it's backed, it's only gonna be about that tall, the little shelf, just to hang in little tools and stuff on. Uh, that's where we're at on the silly little project. All right, well, I think that's where we're gonna stop. I don't think there's anything else needed. Uh, got a little shelf put in here. I sandwiched it, as you can see from the back. Uh, it's kind of warpy, so I was trying to use that to straighten it out a little bit. And then I just uh, anchored it here and then Put the same kind of doodle over here. It's got a little bit overhang, but that's okay. It's not a, we're not building fine furniture. It's supposed to be a, it's actually supposed to be a rustic pallet wood thing. So anyway, there's our potting bench. The only thing we're gonna do from here is to add some drawers, which I gotta tear them out of another thing, and then add a little sink-like thing. It's just gonna be a stainless steel, but that will be the next day, I think. All right, sorry, a friend came over and showing the new wheels he got on his, 2018 Mustang looking pretty good um anyway and we're gonna put a stainless steel bowl in here and I'll, so I'll have to cut a hole and then make a cut I think I'll take this piece and make a cover out of it so when either the bowl's out or if it's in still I want to be able to cover it up so it's still stay covered and then over here we got some drawers from an old Harbor Freight thing so I gotta disassemble those before I can build this the drawers other than that, this is uh, kind of the way it is. I might hit it with some 80 grit to just kind of smooth some of the splintery stuff off. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it works. Okay, here's the mixing bowl, you know, for potting soil or whatever we're going to use. Just an older stainless steel container. You can get those pretty cheap at the Goodwill or whatever. I uh, laid her down there and kind of put it where I wanted. Found the center. Um, if you know how to do that, use the diameter. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the radius, so from half of the diameter, and then use a string to go from anywhere on the anywhere on the outside and mark an arch, and then anywhere else on the outside and mark an arch, and that you can see my arches, and it finds the center. And then you can set it up, set up your string for whatever, or your compass for whatever lip you want to leave, and I scribed it in there. I just used a string, so it's not perfect, but doesn't have to be um, but it's pretty centered plus or minus the 16th which is fine so we're going to cut this inner smaller circle out then I'm going to router here so that the whole thing will fall down below the level and sit on the plywood that's underneath and then I'm going to make a false top with uh, a thinner piece of plywood that I have here and um, some more of these boards because these will be too small 
so that when this is in, I can put a cover on it and you still have full use of your doodle. And then when you want to use it, you pull the cover up. That's the plan anyway. Let's see how it works. All right, so I uh, got this guy cut. Um, hard to do with one hand, but I'm sure you guys have heard that before. Uh, routed out the edge so that the lip catches. Nice and stable. And then just uh, use that scrap, screw this guy down with some pieces. And I set them in there and boom. Of course it doesn't just fall right in it's supposed to. There you go. And then it's got a little spot you can get it out over here. And you know, I'm in trouble. Yeah, I don't know if it goes in like that easier. Who knows? Yeah. Anyway, now you can use it for, uh, use the whole table. Um, this might fill up with water in there, but it shouldn't, shouldn't, because it's got the overhang. There's a drip down there. So the next step is to put the two of the reused <coughs> drawers in. Um, shouldn't be too easy. This is already on a piece of wood. I'll probably just take this out and this out, take these rails off this side, and put two drawers in. And then if we want to do more, we can do more. I also might um, replace this with plywood. We'll see. All right, doing some staining on it. This is just the first coat. Got the drawers mounted. Sorry, I don't know if I showed you that. Drawers mounted, just two. Using this uh, bare water-based stuff. It's tinted blue. I'm doing a highlight. Face of the drawers, so I need to recoat those in just a second. And then this is the center. I just did the back of it. But... And then the back and the surface are just gonna be um, Thompson's water seal, so it'll have like a two-tone look to it. Anyway, that's where we're at. All right, got a second coat on the drawers. They look really nice. Uh, just put the Thompson's water seal on, so that kind of darkened it up, like looking good. And that's where we're gonna stop for today. I'm gonna let her dry. I'm gonna go do some visiting. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. I like it. And here is the potting bench in action, in place, and all working. We did add a couple of pegs for those things. The drawers. All filled up with stuff. And there it is. Well, that's that. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.